dear students in this exercise you are going to learn how to do a protein protein docking and analyzing the docking interactions and rendering the high resolution images protein protein interactions play a crucial role in cellular functions and biological process in all organisms protein protein interactions are the root of the biological process in both uh, physiological and pathogenic conditions understanding protein protein interactions are uh, very important for the formation of macromolecular structures and enzyme complexes that forms the basis of almost every cellular process ranging from uh, signal transduction and cellular transport and catalyzing uh, various metabolic reactions activating or uh, inhibiting other proteins and biomolecular uh, synthesis the identification of protein interactions can lead to the better understanding of interaction mechanisms and the development of several medication drugs and the treatment as well as their optimization our ability to study such interaction relies on a long time on the biochemical assays such as immunoprecipitation immunocytochemistry that are performed on a cell or a tissue lysates or a fixed cells or uh, yeast to uh, hybrid screens etc but here we are going to use the existing computational techniques to predict protein protein interactions protein protein interaction predictions are a methods that speed up the process of knowing interacting partner interface interactions so the interaction predictions is more important as it helps the researcher to make inferences of the outcomes of protein protein interactions several physiochemical experimental techniques have been applied to identify protein protein interactions various methods have been uh, developed so far to predict the such a protein protein interactions protein protein interaction can be studied by phylogenetic profiling identifying structural partners and homologous pairs extracellular localization and post translation modification and uh, combination of these uh, uh, procedures as well over the past 3 decades number of protein protein interaction uh, methods interaction prediction methods as well as so many protein protein interactions were identified as a result a large number of databases have been created to catalog and annotate these interactions today we are going to see how the protein protein docking can be performed using a powerful tool called hdoc which can be accessed through this web portal hdoc.phys.hyst.hust.edu.cn further how can you analyze the interactions that mediate protein protein interactions finally i will show the procedure to render high resolution images that can be used in presentation reports and posters this exercise will equip you to perform protein protein docking and analyze the interactions that mediate the interface that is a protein protein complexes further you will be thought to visualize various protein ligand interactions and render very high quality images for the docked complexes the hdoc server is a highly integrated suite for homology search template based modeling structure prediction and macromolecular docking and biological information incorporation and job management in a robust manner so the complete protocol of this docking algorithm is available in this uh, nature protocol uh, article i will share this to you so that you can gain more details on this tool uh, server and other applications in fact hdoc is suitable to study both protein protein interactions as well as protein rna or dna bindings i mean protein protein or protein nucleic acid binding interactions can be predicted using this hdoc server in comparison with other macromolecular docking methods hdoc performs better in several major aspects that you can able to see in this table 
so this is a hash doc uh, uh, performance whereas the other uh, docking algorithms particularly protein protein docking macromolecular uh, uh, docking uh, algorithms are listed here available methods here you can able to see the hashtag performs in a better way in different aspects such as utilizing abinacio docking on multiple input receiving multiple input formats such as the amino acid sequence protein structures in the pdb format in addition to the templates uh, template based modeling on protein protein both protein protein as well as protein nucleic acid docking protocols in addition to that so you can able to see the possibility of incorporating small angle x ray scattering data that is an experimental data so that you can able to predict the binding orientation and the binding process as well so these are all the uh, various advantages that you can able to see in hdoc so the one that we are going to explore in today's session this is the hdoc web server page where you can able to see the uh, spaces to provide inputs either in a structural coordinates format or the sequential information so here i am giving the inputs by selecting uh, the coordinates which i have locally saved in my disk or you can specify the pdb id so here i am giving the inputs the two protein chains of a uh, mitogen activated protein kinase so map case so the chain a is the first molecule that i have uploading whereas the second molecule is chain b just i want to see how these two molecules are interacting right so two inputs are given chain a and chain b i want to uh, see the docking predict the docking between these two molecule and see how this interface is established and how strong it is so i want to do this analysis so uh, the given case is mitogen activated protein kinase so the pdb id is 7 m0l right i have uh, two uh, chains i give i have given two chains uh, in the specific inputs in addition to that uh, you can able to see the advanced options which is not mandatory but still uh, you can you can able to have some specific uh, uh, search such as for example if you want to do symmetric uh, multimer docking based on the specific space groups then you can able to provide that here or it also accepts the input from the small angle x ray scattering that i mentioned already so you can feed the small angle x ray scattering data sax data so that provides as the post docking filter for ranking the binding models predicted by the hash doc, uh, docking algorithm so in addition to that you can able to see the possibility of providing the uh, residue informations to define the binding site interface if you already know that the binding pose and the binding interface then you can able to specify that here as well and post docking process which is also available again that is an optional for you so this step is for advanced users if they want to obtain more than 100 predicted complexes usually propose 10 different 10 uh, predicted complexes if you want to uh, have more uh, outputs i mean you want to predict 100 complexes predicted complexes or filter the docked uh, complex models within their own experimental information then you can uh, go for this post uh, docking process finally you can give your email and job name so that you will receive the notification with the result link once the job is completed so here is the link where you can able to download the stand alone package so remember that when you use any of the tools bioinformatics tools servers so so we have to cite them properly so these are all the um, literature references that they have given so we need to cite their literature i mean their publications whenever we use Uh, those uh, uh, their servers tools and when we do publications out of that so so once you feed the inputs you can start run do submit either you can give email id so just here i do submit and see what is happening so it takes some time so once the inputs are taken yes so your job is running 
so you can bookmark this page or if you already given your email maybe the reset link will be sent to that email here is the result page in addition to various scores Hedgehog provides the viewer interface where you can select the specific orientation of the binding partner so here you can able to see that uh, uh, this is one of the molecule chain A that we have given as an input and here is the different orientation of chain B that are docked to chain A. So this protein protein docking is performed with the different uh, orientations. So here you can able to see how beautifully how uh, these two molecules are uh, interacting together that forms the complex uh, state. So this is the model one the predicted pose and this is the second one. Yes, this is second one. So you can have uh, up to 10 models that you can able to display with this viewer option. So this is the third model. So that is in different orientation. Right. So, so it's uh, interesting. So maybe you can able to compare all these poses and see where you can able to in which orientation where uh, majority of the uh, docked complexes are generated. Right. So that's all possible. Right. So in addition to that, you have the possibility to change the representation. Right. So now the model is in uh, uh, sticks. I mean the cartoon. So it is converted into the surface representation, surface and uh, cartoon. Right. This so gives, gives a beautiful uh, view, representation, beautiful look. Right. See how beautifully the two calices are uh, uh, sit in the binding cavity of this protein chain A. Right. So the summary of 10 models or uh, statistics of the summary of these 10 models are given at the bottom of this viewer. So this indicates the docking energy scores and the ligand RMS deviation from the input structures. In our uh, case the ligand also in another protein molecule. So the lowest energy score is the best hit in this particular case. So the first model which has the lowest energy minus uh, 933.43 energy so that can be selected as the best uh, binding pose so best docked confirmation in addition you can able to see the quality of docking structure that is the input data so the pro q program is used to evaluate the quality where the lg score and the max up scores are measured as the quality parameters according to the lg score and max up scores the accuracy of the protein is classified into three levels correct good and very good case here our data is uh, within the uh, good range right uh, finally you can select the best doctor model based on the top 10 predicted uh, predictions from the top of the visualizer right so here you have the option to download the dot to complexes so you have to scroll your mouse to have a zooming and you can able to rotate so it's a very nice smooth uh, viewer interface that's available part in the part of a, a catch doc output so let us download the first entry yeah that's saved in a pdb formatted file model one so that can be visualized using any of the viewer which is available in your computer which is locally installed so here i use uh, pymol to visualize the docked process yes this is a model one the i mean the confirmation that obtained from model one so i can able to show yeah the cartoon representation yeah see how beautifully they are interacting so if you want to look at the interacting residues maybe you can display the lines as well see so if you zoom it then you can able to see the interaction interacting residues as well so the monomers are packed themselves in a compact arrangement in this doctor pose so before we see how we can able to represent this interaction and macromolecular assemblies in high resolution images, let us see how these interfaces are oriented and what are all the interactions, energetics that stabilizes these protein-protein interfaces. 
So we will use uh, PDBE PISA server for this purpose. Once we have completed protein-protein docking, so the next intention should investigate how those protein uh, interfaces, protein-protein interactions are mediated uh, in that the interface, what kind of interactions that maintain the protein assembly and so on. So for this purpose, today we are going to see how PDBE PISA works. So it is a powerful tool developed at EMBL EBI and this tool is available as part of Protein Data Bank in Europe. <coughs> PISA that stands for uh, that is abbreviation of protein interfaces, surfaces and assemblies. So it basically it is a web based uh, interactive tool offered by PDBE to investigate stability of formation of macromolecular complexes. In addition to a detailed analysis of surfaces, inter interfaces and assemblies for all the entries at the protein data bank. So this uh, tool can also uh, allow us to upload a user's own coordinate files either in a PDB or MMC format right? so that we can able to perform the analysis. So I will share the P PISA tutorial uh, for the detailed description about this tool. So let us launch this uh, uh, PDB PISA and see how it works. So you can able to access this uh, web portal through this web link www.eba.ac.uk slash pdbe slash pizza. This is the web portal of uh, PDBE Pizza. So let us launch the PDBE Pizza. So here you can see the option to upload the files. Uh, uh, either directly enter the PDB ID or through the coordinate file. Now I give the complete structure of a mitogen activated protein kinase that is MAP kinase. Uh, the PDB ID is uh, 7M0L so which I already know. So, so I want to know the interface interactions. So what are the interactions that exist between the protein molecules that I just want to explore that. So here you can see as soon as the file gets uploaded into the server, uh, it will give you the preliminary information uh, regarding the PDB entry, right? For example, the number of protein shines and the bound uh, uh, ligands present in this particular protein and most probable assembly is a tumor. So the PISA suggests that this protein could be a dimer. So let's start uh, investigate the interfaces present in this particular protein. So you, here I gave the PDB entry, I mean uh, structure which is available in database. Maybe you can give your own protein uh, molecule for your analysis. Yes. So this is the result page that uh, outcome of a PISA interface list. So this protein has four chains, A, B, C, D. Here you can see the uh, interactions found between the interfaces. So the one, the first uh, ID that indicates the interaction between B and A chain. So this is a chain ID, B and A chain and D and C chain. And uh, these are all the other uh, contacts that present in the uh, macular molecule assembly, right? So when you have the molecule with the multiple chains, there might be interaction with, uh, uh, I mean, uh, contact between the chains, right? So there are, there, are, there are contacts between A, D and C, B as well, right? So, so here you can able to see these are all the number of residues. So now we are investigating the interface in the given protein structure. So between B and A, so there are 251 atoms involved in that interface formation. So that uh, composed of, uh, I mean that made up of 50, that is that includes 58 uh, residues. In addition to that, you can see uh, other uh, crystallographic uh, details, how they are oriented and all. And here, this N80 that indicates the number of interacting atoms in the corresponding structure and N res indicates number of interfering residues in the corresponding structure. And the surface uh, is the total solvent accessible surface area um, in the square angstrom. And the interface area 
that describes the i mean it is calculated as the difference in the total accessible surface area of isolated and interfering i mean that indicate that gives how much area is involved in the interface formation and this delta g indicates a solvation free energy upon the formation of the interface that values are in kilo calories per mole and more importantly you need to see that css score so the css stands for complexation significance score so the score indicates how significant for an assembly formation is that interface is so the css score ranges from 0 to 1 that you can able to see some of them are 1 some of them are in uh, 0 so this is between 0 and 1 as the interface relevance to complex formation increases that is if the value is 1 that indicates the biological significance there is a biological significance for the interface contact rather than an artifact or a crystal contact so for example here you can see these two contacts that is b and a c and d are in crystal contacts so you can able to see that they are in crystal contacts so, so they are in the biological contacts whereas a d c b all these are in crystal contacts so they don't have any biological relevance but still you can able to see some contacts so b a d c is the biological content which has the biological relevance so that's required for its own uh, uh, biological function so right maybe you can uh, uh, look at the structure so that will be uh, easier for you to investigate how these contacts are present within the individual chains of this protein entry yes so yes so it has four chains i can display that as cartoon and color them based on chain yes so you can see this is chain b yeah this is chain a so the green is chain a and the blue one is chain b and this purple one is chain c and the yellow one is chain d a b c d so here you have a two copies of the dimeric unit so this a and b are the dimeric units maybe i can color uh, these chains together or i can select this one and color it in a dark green so the light green dark green is the dimeric unit and then uh, pink and then i can color it in a dark pink sorry so these two uh, molecules present in this pdb file so this contact that exists between this light green and dark green is the biological contact so that has the biological relevance so however so if you determine the crystal structure you can able to see the contacts between uh, the molecules present in asymmetric unit even uh, a and c can see the contact but that doesn't have any biological relevance so that was uh, indicated in that pisa analysis right so whatever that you see here the one that is the biological content and remaining are crystal contacts now let us explore uh, the interfaces so what kind of information that you can able to uh, fetch from the individual interfaces so here you can select any one of the interfaces let's start with a b and if you want you have a visualization uh, option in pizza it's a jmol jsmol viewer yeah here you can see the beautiful view of uh, the interfaces so the blue and uh, uh, cyan are the two chains and the red one and pink in i mean the red and the green are the interacting residues so you can have a different uh, representation you can have a different representation for your convenience and see how this interface is formed established right in the three dimension if you want to look at the details of this uh, interface and what are the interactions present in this interface you can click uh, the details of that particular uh, uh, complex b and a so here you can able to see uh, the details that we already seen that so how many atoms how many residues are involved what is the number of i mean amount of area that but that involved in the uh, complexation and more importantly uh, you can able to see the specific interactions so mainly uh, at the interface so it's not uh, for the entire protein so whatever that you are looking here is at the interface 
right amount i mean uh, hydrogen bonding so this many hydrogen bonding and this many sulfate disulfate bridge i mean salt bridges are present in the given interface a and b ionic interaction and hydrogen bonding interaction and here is the detailed uh, uh, list of interfering residues and here before uh, investigating this list you need to uh, carefully look at this uh, uh, indicators so the dark blue is inaccessible surface the light blue is a solvent accessible residues that is the residues located on the surface and uh, the light brown with the labels of either H, S, D, C that indicates the residues making hydrogen bond that is H, S means disulfate bridge, salt bridge, D is salt bridge and then C is a covalent link between the residues and the light yellow that indicate interacting residues interfering residues and then asa a is in angstrom square all this buried surface area in angstrom square and uh, interestingly you can see some bars in this uh, list and this each bar indicates the buried area percentage here the each line indicates 10 percentage if we have four lines that means 40 percentage area is buried upon the interface formation so for each atom right atom wise list is given in this uh, section for example here you can see these are all solvent accessible residues that are all exposed residues you can't see any contact right between the residues. this is chain b and this is chain a right so just you see that these are all the dark blue colors that you can able to see that indicates inaccessible residues that is buried residues these are all the buried residues and interestingly you can see some residues form hydrogen bonding with an another i mean with a uh, other chain that forms the dimerization and with a couple of uh, i mean couple of residues that form hydrogen bonding interaction is formed and you can see how much area is buried upon the interface formation right so if you have five lines that is 50 percentage of area is buried something like that so you can have a detailed report of how this uh, interface is established so this yellow line yellow highlighted or the residues which part of the interfaces right when the protein uh, uh, forms the dimerization when the protein interacts with the other protein these are all the residues that establishes the stabilizing uh, interactions so majority of them are hydrogen bonding and some of them are salt bridges salt bridges ionic interactions so these kind of interactions that you can able to fetch uh, from this report so you can explore pdb piece up that is one of the powerful tool where you can able to get the detailed uh, interactions that present in the interfaces so here as well you can see the interface score is one that indicates this score is significant to consider as a biological interface next we are going to see how we can represent our structural observations in an effective way using various structural representation in high resolution. So far at this purpose, we are going to use PyMol. Most of you already familiar with PyMol, which is a molecular visualization uh, system, which was maintained and uh, distributed by Schrodinger. So you can download PyMol from the, its own website, pymol.org, which is given here. So this is free for academic users and uh, commercial users may need to pay to use this program. So PyMol can produce a very high quality uh, three-dimensional images of small and uh, macromolecular structures. So you can see that uh, almost uh, one third of all published images of three-dimensional protein structures in the scientific literatures and reports and presentations which were made by using, uh, which were made uh, using uh, the PyMol tool. So you are going to learn such a widely popular, uh, uh, powerful tool to create high resolution images for various applications. Here you can see that a protein structure is rendered in a different modes using PyMol, a cartoon surface, a cut through surface and uh, highlighted uh, barrels and quite a mole. Uh, like structure with the spears and uh, good cell like uh, structure and glossy surface and a B factor uh, putty representation in addition to that you can able to uh, combine different representations uh, cartoon and sticks 
surface and uh, highlighted uh, regions and b factor sticks and spears and uh, uh, kind of a cartoon surface and a cartoon to represent the secondary structure something like that so you can use the combination of different representation to highlight your structural observations so all these uh, diagrams can be uh, prepared using pymol let us see how that can be created in this particular dem demonstration Before getting to the demonstration, let us see the different panels present in a PyMol uh, tool. So, you can uh, broadly uh, see these different regions. So, when you load a PyMol tool, so the primary region is a display area where you can able to visualize the molecule. So, you can have your mouse controls uh, to rotate, zoom and uh, make a slab modes and all so this is the region where you will uh, uh, this I mean where you can able to see the molecules and in addition to that you have the uh, command line options so in addition to GA GUA options uh, you can have the command line options uh, to modify the structure to have the re different representations so that can be either command line or uh, PML scripts can be uh, used right to display the structure in the required representation and this is a object menu panel so where the molecules are uh, listed so what are the mo I mean, molecules that are loaded will be listed here so primarily you can able to see uh, five different uh, uh, tools tool options here a is action s is show hide label and color so using these menus tools you can play around the protein molecule uh, for the required change i mean you can modify the protein uh, structure and different representation uh, to highlight your observations so and again you can able to do the select select specific residues that will be listed here and you can do whatever manipulations here depends on the i mean based on the toolboxes available here and then uh, here you have the mouse controls so you depends on the mouse either three button viewing three button uh, editing two button mouses right some people use uh, some dial boxes in a silicon graphics terminal so you'll have uh, you can select the mouse that you are using for this operation so in a mouse maybe you can have a detailed uh, uh, description of the operation of pymol in the manuals user manuals that i shared in this classroom so you can look at that so you can have the rotation movement zoom slab clipping all this editing options are possible with your mouse controls left to right and uh, scrolling options in addition to that at the bottom you can see the movie controls where you can play stop forward reverse right you can for example if you have the um, images with the dynamic nature for example nmr structures with multiple ensembles then you can uh, visualize that as a movie so you can able to see the transactions using the movie options so these are all the broader sections present in the pymol tool in addition to that you can able to see a tool which is not uh, shown here maybe i can uh, show that when we do the demonstration so once you have a desired representation desired orientation one of the common requirement is to create the images in high resolution with a required uh, dpi right how that can be created for which we are going to use the ray command which is the most popular and powerful uh, tool powerful option that available in a pymol so once you have the image in the required orientation with the required representations so you can resize it using the x inches where x is a times b so the command should be given in the form of ray 2400 comma 2400 that is in a x direction and it's a y direction a and b so if you have an image of a square uh, type so the x and y uh, directions are given in this uh, uh, values 2400 and 2400 so here x is the size so x is a times b since here a and b are 2500 so this command can able to produce the image of uh, image size of 8 inch at 300 dpi or 4 inch at 600 dpi or 2 inch at 1200 
DPI. So various sizes can be fixed, right? So by using this array command. So in addition to that, a new and better solution to use the PNG command with the DPI settings, such as, such as um, in a command line, you can uh, give this option PNG and whatever the file name that you want to, uh, in which you want to save the image and then comma DPA 300. So DPA 300 or 600. So that, it, that will give a really good uh, resolution images. So for the publication and presentation quality, 600 is a very good uh, size. Even if you want to prepare the posters of A0 size or even larger, you can able to prepare the images in a better resolution, high resolution, right, without uh, uh, what is called uh, damaging the quality, without damaging the pixels, without uh, losing the resolution, you can able to uh, produce the uh, better resolution images using Primal, using this option, using Ray and uh, P having the PNG uh, by specifying specific, uh, I mean the given DPA values. So let us see uh, how this can be utilized, how this can be incorporated in the specific orientation, how that can be used to create uh, high resolution images. So let us go to the demonstration. So this is the GUI interface of uh, PyMall. So let us start by loading a protein molecule. So I would like to uh, use the same mitogen activated protein kinase so that we have uh, used uh, to dock uh, using hdoc and the one for which we analyze the interfaces so i want to use the same uh, protein molecule so in the dimeric uh, state so yeah this is the protein uh, that we have uh, predicted the structure mitogen activated protein kinase map kinase so uh, you can able to see the dimeric architecture so if you want to clearly uh, see them uh, you can color them using different uh, options available here so let us make color by chain so you can see the green and the cyan that indicates two different colors so now you have them in the lines representation so the atoms are uh, i mean uh, residues are shown in the lines right you can able to clearly see that uh, uh, residue positioning and all right so orientation side chain orientations and the packing everything is more clear in this orientation so you can able to change the representation using this uh, show option so if you sh show by returning the lines representation if you show uh, not as show as cartoon then you have uh, two different representations so both cartoon and lines um, is observed in this uh, display viewer right so where you can able to as i mentioned uh, in the few minutes before so this is the place where you can able to see whatever changes that you do either in the gua or in the command line options so yes now i don't want to have the lines either you can hide lines or simply you can use a save show as option so this is an object so that corresponds to the protein structure that we have loaded here Sh what you can do show as instead of show cartoon show as cartoon so that will retain only the specific uh, representation so that will not uh, show any lines anymore in this option so if you use show as that can be used for uh, all all other representation of a show as so if you want to sticks yes it shows only sticks and then if you want to use show as ribbon yeah it's, that gives it a backbone uh, confirmation of this dimeric stage so beautifully you can see that uh, helical structures right so that passed into the cavity of the other chain other monomeric unit that have a very tight packing i hope you might be explored you must explore that in uh, pizza web interface as well so let us keep that in a cartoon so i want to keep that in a cartoon so beautifully see yes so now you can see the packing and all right so for example if you want to show one of the chains <coughs> into uh, the surface so that is also possible so here uh, that gives both as surface both structures in surface yes since they are uh, displayed in the atom coloring so you can see both the uh, red and blue colors so the blue ones are nitrogen and the red ones are oxygen so i hope you are all aware of that so if you want to retain the specific colors what you can do color by chain and then uh, show surface we'll see 
no changes so what you can do you can select the specific surf, um, uh, molecules and then change the color so for which i can show you uh, the available options to display the sequence so here uh, the yes option that uh, allows you to display the sequence in the uh, viewer panel so this is a single letter code of the amino acid so you can scroll further uh, to the right so you can able to see these are lamin acid and this is the ligand that you have here right so this is a ligand and a o, all the o's that represent the oxygen that is the water molecules since hydrogens are not absorbable in the protein structures uh, the typical resolution of protein structures so the oxygens are represented so they are all the water molecules and this is the chain A in cyan and then at the end of this chain you can able to see the entry for the hydroatom present right so before uh, uh, i would like to show the specific uh, options to change the orientation there are certain presets available in pymol so for which you have to go to this action tool as i mentioned a is action yes is show hide label and color so in action you can go to preset and then here we want to see the ligand sites so you want to sh display select the ligand sites and make it as cartoon so there are several presets available in PyMod that takes you to that gives a beautiful representation maybe you can see that so the uh, ligands present in the molecular structures are represented in the sticks and then the protein molecules are in cartoon so that quickly you can have a look of the interacting uh, site as well as the interacting residues and the pores in which the ligand sits in the binding sites and uh, you can able to see the water molecules positions also displayed in a small spheres and these dotted lines that indicates hydrogen bonding interactions right so that gives a quick quick look maybe you can start you can use this as a starting point and refine your uh, uh, process to make a beautiful diagrams right so this is the option otherwise you can have a different representation so make a preset use preset uh, ligand site if you want to use a solid surface so that is also possible yes have a surface uh, view around the uh, ligand right so you can see so backbone so orientation backbone structures are in ribbon uh, diagram in the ribbon ribbon diagram representation and the sticks shows the ligand structure and around the ligand so i mean the binding site is shown in the surface representation so that is also possible so let us see there are other possible views as well ligand sites solid uh, better uh, let us see how it takes yes so that's a little larger area is covered ah, yeah. so you can able to see the cannoli surfaces so residues are shown with uh, you know, cannoli surfaces that gives a better uh, orientation and all so sometime before uh, we are talking about rendering so you can give that options array either you can give the command uh, available in this top uh, uh, toolbar available or in the command line options available so just i use this option for the clarity since it's the back white background that will be easier for you to follow ray either uh, 2024 just i will give uh, 1024 1024 so yeah so you can see the render ring will give yeah so this is a size image size is 1024 times 1024 so there is a image is um, now it's uh, that, that is a, it's a clear pixel right so you have a high resolution image so you can able to save this in the form of png i see that uh, some of you do screenshot in pymol so don't do that uh, i mean you have to save the image using this save image option save as image so that will be stored in a specific folder so that that can be used for your uh, future applications future requirements okay okay let us go back uh, to our previous discussion so i can remove this so i don't want this anymore yes i will remove all these selections yes did it selection yeah so i want to show this show as cut okay find that's good okay so let us show you how can you um, make i will keep two different chain color so i want to have my own chain uh, coloring so now it's the residues are displayed in this panel so i can change that into a chain representation as well right so check on sound 
and sequence mode so what i want to show i want to display chains instead of single letter codes yes i can able to see two chains chain a and chain b so that is possible so you can select the entire chain using this option or you can uh, modify uh, the selection in this mouse control so selecting residues if you click on residues it will change this chains so just you select any one of the uh, atom in that particular chain so that also uh, selects the entire chain i will change that into orange uh, i will keep that light orange and whereas the other chain into something like uh, lime light green so yes so i have two different colors here so if i choose the surface representation show surface yeah yes so, okay depends on the memory that you have so it takes some time to get uh, the high resolution images depends on the size of the molecule it takes a little longer time so you can see uh, the chains are completely uh, color in a single i mean single, single color uh, chains right so you can able to see the overlay right so how the packing is happening so the first chain the brown chain is passed into the uh, green molecule as well as the green chain i mean one of the helix that passed into the the other molecule so, so to type packing that you can able to observe in these structures okay so if you want to keep the cartoon and sticks selectively i can show you that so if you want to keep this uh, yeah so usually i prefer to keep the background white when you make the images for your publication right don't uh, go for the black background black, black background is suitable only for uh, the PowerPoint presentation when you are going to use the image in a uh, PowerPoint then it will be fine so otherwise when you do preparing reports or uh, publications so I always suggest you to keep the background white so that will be good when you print in the white sheet and then settings so I want to uh, I don't want any shadows when I create a high resolution image so shadows are possible in addition to that uh, you can have the different light settings as well so deep shadows i know i hope you know about the shadows shadows will fall depends on the direction of the light where you have the light so here in the pi model itself you have a lot of options to edit right so maybe you can see that edit settings and all these uh, factors can be edited right so let us see whether i can able to do that here no i don't have such options maybe in the command line you can do that uh light yeah light nine light so where i want to keep the light so you can see the light one two three four nine lights are kept in different location basically these are the coordinates where you have the light position so depends on that you will get the light uh, as i mentioned the manual is shared with you so you can play around have a different light settings so that you'll have a even better uh, uh, what is called uh, structures and uh, structural representation in a perspective view so everything is possible in a pymon so try around so i hide the shadows i don't want to shadows anymore right so what i can do i can share or save the image so i don't want uh, any chain displays so i can switch off the chains okay so this is the representation just i want to do simple ray so it takes some time because now it has uh, it's a two bigger molecule and now it is in a surface representation yes it is in rare represent so you can able to see the difference right now its structure is smoother right when you are doing annotating structure when you are doing changes so it's kind of a rough structures so that you can able to see so you can have a render and then save the image so i will make an image with a 1024 times 1024 so that gives the structure in that of this particular size so it depends on the pixel as i mentioned already so it depends on the pixel uh, required so you can have the images of particular size so this is not uh, fit with the available size so what you can do i have to zoom further yes i think this is fine and do that 
same command so as i mentioned you can give the rendering command either here or in this uh, command line options available here you can use any one of uh, the page so similar to your linux so you have all uh, i mean commands works in the pymol so the scripts can also be feeded to have the specific orientation yes this is what uh, i want i can save this image as png yes in pp doc i will say that surface dot png okay so okay this this is this will be a uh, very good resolution maybe i can show that how it looks yes yes so this is the actual size see so beautiful view for your convenience for the for the clarity maybe i can load it in a pi mall okay just i will have it in a next slide yes see how big it is the slide that you have okay yes just pull it here and see it's quite large right the image is quite large so there is good enough uh, for your presentation or even a four size so that accommodates uh, i mean majority of the page so that will that's going to be in a good resolution so it's when you print that in a color printer that, that, that i mean that will give a good uh, perspective that conveys the details in a better way right okay so let us uh, proceed further what uh, we can do with the cartoon representation okay so let me change uh, the surface into cartoon so let go back to the original view as what we had earlier yes now it's in cartoon here i want to show the ligands which are uh, complex which are bound into the protein molecule just i want to display that so yes so i can show the sequence into single letter code yes so here i will change the background because i want to see them in the screen so yes now it's clear so these are the ligand so instead of selecting chains i will change that into residues yes so these are the ligands i hope uh, you can able to clearly see that yk4 of one, one chain and this is another chain so this is in the selection uh, object selection panel now i will rename this into ligand ligands okay it's saved now so what i can do so i can show them in as a sticks sticks yes it's beautifully yes appear here so i always suggest to keep the ligands in a uh, based on the colors i mean based on the atom coloring so i will select this ligand i will change that in a color uh, with a similar uh, setup yes it's brown so now you have the protein in the uh, light orange so you can select the color option so select collect coloring by element so you can choose the best uh, combination for to to have this representation yes it's something like that so you can have this uh, sticks representation so when you have this elemental uh, coloring so people can easily understand what kind of molecule it is so the nitrogen oxygen and carbon positions are clearly uh, observed when you have this color instead of having them in all together in a single coloring i will change the color in the other chain as well uh, but yeah not necessarily with the same coloring i will uh, try to match with the carbon coloring so yes it's now it's better right so all carbons are in green and always oxygens are in red blues blue ones are the nitrogen so you can able to see the interactions so i can zoom this interaction sites a closer look action zoom yeah that takes you to the closer look of the ligand so yeah i can have the clipper by scroll using the scroll options uh, mouse scrolling i can able to make these diagrams i can have the view like this so once you have the desired view once you observe this protein yeah this can be like this then what i can do uh, better i can uh, yes I can zoom so yes so yes this is the beautiful background yes now i can change the color so before i save uh, i want to keep 
have that white background yes it's nice background so even adjacent chains which over which uh, make the complexation in the adjacent molecule it's also shown here so yes by keeping the required orientation you can do rendering 10 24 or whatever it is so maybe if you want uh, 2000 2000 so that is going to be a very big um, structure yes so this is how this 2000 times 2000 uh, render image looks so you can able to see the sheets and uh, sticks are so shi shining so that's really a nice image so i will sh save this image in png and show how this ligand ligand protein contacts are displayed in png yes maybe you can sh look at that image yeah it's again so a two beautiful uh, orientation so where you can able to see the cartoon in uh, really high resolution so i will show the actual size yes this is actual size so so bigger so glossy representation so that can be used even in uh, uh, posters so in a0 size posters uh, so that will give a better uh, uh, perspective right that convey your uh, understanding that convey your observation in a better way in a in this high resolution images okay let us see how you can able to show the interfaces so that is another uh, important uh, point so you already know how the interface contacts can be analyzed using pisa web interface either you can point down those residues and you can display them uh, in sticks and that can be uh, used to represent the image otherwise you can do the manual uh, investigation by sh showing the lines in addition to that sticks i mean cartoon representation i will change background black so that that will be easier for me to display the residues uh, yeah i will identify the residues which are in the interface yes i can uh, show certain contacts yes there are several residues which are all in the uh, which are all identified in the interface so just for the idea I will show some residues which are uh, located in the interface and just I want to display them in sticks and then uh, we'll see how that can be modeled right so yes so these are all the residues just uh, I selected a couple of uh, residues at the interface so that is in the selection uh, menu so I will save that in a different name yes e interface at interface residues or something interface residues okay so i will uh, hide the lines now i don't want lines but i want to keep them the residues in sticks interface residues so sticks yes okay so you can able to zoom these residues and make the diagram in your required orientation yes see so beautifully they are all displayed so these kind of representations so the combination of uh, sticks and uh, lines sticks and uh, cartoon and surface and uh, sticks and all these representations allows us you to uh, display or understand display your observations in a more pretty way to the audience right either in the form of presentation or in the report so let me proceed uh, to show the surface and sticks representation so for which uh, there is a small trick that you need to follow uh, you need to you can able to create the objects you can select the objects so yes so you already selected uh, ligands so before that i want to keep as cartoon i don't want to have the ligands here uh, i can select the protein chains alone as a separate object instead of uh, using the water molecules in the ligands which is also part of the protein i'm not going to select to create the object now i selected the protein uh, atoms that is only the amino acids are selected here and the selection is created as a separate object so i make it as a separate object right object one is created now so maybe even i if even i close this protein so that will not be displayed maybe yeah i will keep this because i need this ligand so i will hide cartoon so the cartoon is no longer displayed from this object 7 
mol underscore ab that is the original pdb file that i have load we have loaded into this um, pymol so the only the object that is only the 20 different amino acids i mean amino acids uh, that make up these proteins are selected without ligand so i can use the ligand from this entry from this object i want to keep this as a stick show sticks yes it's displayed now so if i make this object as surface you can able to see uh, this uh, surface is completely encapsulate only the protein uh, residues protein residues and the ligand is a separate object let us see how it looks yes yes see you can able to see how the ligand is pocket sits in the perfectly within the pocket so perfect cavity is observed using this kind of representation for which you need to create an object only i mean excluding this ligand so here you want to show the ligand as separate object so here uh, you need to use this uh, i mean uh, uh, different options so right you can create the protein as a different uh, object and then the ligand is as a different object so when you use the six stick representation you can able to uh, clearly see the orientation of the ligand right and then the available binding cavity and the positive and negative charges and so on so everything is can be clearly visualized i hope you might be know that so there is a possibility of uh, displaying electrostatics as well in the preset right so this is the one way maybe i can save this image yeah you have to uh, find the better orientation to show the results yeah i will keep this orientation yeah this is better okay so it will hard so i need to show all the residues all the atoms present the ligand or at least the size of the ligand so yeah let me have this orientation or something like that yeah this is better yeah i will have this kind of orientation display background and white yes now i do rendering so no i am not specifying any uh, pixel specification it based on the screen resolution will get the image yes and now it's can able to see the glossy structures glossy surface in this rendering so if you want you can have this 1024 by 1024 uh, render yeah that will give the closer view of the binding site yes it's a very nice structure right so i can save this as well save image sorry so not save image not save molecule save image as png surface a ligand okay so that's again a nice structure right so the pymol electrostatics electrostatics also provide an another interesting perspective to you so that uh, tells us how tells you how uh, the charge residues play a vital role in uh, recognizing the ligands or other protein molecules as well right so generate vacuum electrostatics yeah yes so nicely you can able to see the charge residues which are how these charge residues are displayed around the protein molecule so you can see the positively charged residues are in blue and the negatively charged residues are in the uh, red color and the white ones are the neutrals and you can able to see the strength of the positive or negative charges in this electrostatic calculations so in such a way you can able to play around the various options available in pymol so as i mentioned already the pymol uh, user manual and the tutorial file also shared with you in this uh, as part of this uh, video demonstration so make use of that and try to make uh, some beautiful diagrams for your project presentation or the publications finally i am sure that based on this exercise you must learn that how protein protein docking can be performed using uh, the powerful tool hdoc further how to analyze the interactions that mediate protein interfaces using pdb pizza and how to i mean uh, you know how to explore the various interactions that stabilizes protein structure 
and assembly finally you learned that the way how you can able to render high resolution images that can be used uh, in your presentations reports posters and publications if you have any queries if you have any questions feel free to contact us thank you